Peter and the Wolf. Peter and his grandfather lived next to a beautiful meadow. Next to the meadow, there was a dark forest. And in the middle of the forest, there lived a hungry wolf. Stay in the garden, Peter, said Grandfather. Never go into the meadow on your own. But why not, said Peter. There is a hungry wolf in the dark forest, said Grandfather. He could come creeping into the meadow and eat you up. Peter looked over the garden wall. The meadow looked very beautiful. A little red bird flew up to a big tree. Peter, called the bird. Why don't you come and play in the meadow? Peter climbed over the garden wall and went into the meadow. There was a pond in the middle of the meadow. A duck paddled past Peter. Then she jumped into the pond and swam away. The little red bird flew down to the duck. Come back, she said to the duck. What a funny walk. Why don't you fly like me? I don't want to fly like you, said the duck. Why don't you swim like me? The two birds were very cross with one another. And they made a lot of noise. Suddenly, Peter saw a cat come creeping towards the birds. Look out! called Peter. The cat will catch you! At once, the little red bird flew up to the top of the big tree and the duck swam to the middle of the pond. Just then, Peter's grandfather came into the garden. He looked over the wall and saw Peter in the meadow. He was very cross with him. Come back at once, Peter, said grandfather. So Peter climbed over the wall and went back into the garden with his grandfather. Suddenly, the wolf came creeping out of the forest. He saw the little red bird, the duck and the cat. He was so hungry that he wanted to eat them all. The cat climbed to the very top of the tree where the little red bird was sitting. The two of them waited to see what would happen next. The frightened duck jumped out of the pond. She waddled off as fast as she could. But the hungry wolf ran fast and caught her in his big mouth. Then the wolf walked round and round the tree where the cat and the little red bird were sitting. The hungry wolf looked up at them. They were very frightened. Peter found a very long rope and climbed on top of the garden wall. Fly around the wolf's head. He called out to the little red bird. Make him dizzy. But stay away from his big mouth. The little red bird flew around and round wolf's head. The hungry wolf tried to catch the little red bird. But after time, he was very dizzy. Peter climbed up the big tree. Then he let the rope down and caught the wolf by the tail. The wolf jumped up and down and tried to get away. But Peter held onto the rock. Just then, Grandfather saw Peter sitting in the tree. What are you doing up there? He called. I'm 
got divorced by the chair, said Peter. Look! Suddenly, hunters came into the meadow, looking for the wolf. Here he is, said Peter. Take him away. The hunters took the wolf to another forest, a very long way away from Peter and his grandfather, the cat and the little red bird. Peter's grandfather then let him play in the beautiful meadow with the little red bird and the cat. Hi kids, this is Sparkle Married once again. So what's up? Once again there are some quizzes for you. Okay, this is the part one. How much do you remember about the story of Peter and the wolf? Answer these questions and find out who does Peter live with? Who lives in the dark forest? What is in the middle of the meadow? What does Peter say the cat will do to the birds? How does Peter catch the wolf? Who takes the wolf away? Before start the part 2, I'd like to say something. Please take a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. So, if you're ready, I'd like to start the part 2. Okay. Part 2. Unjumble these words to make words from the story. Then match them to the correct pictures. There are 6 words and 6 pictures. So, unjumble words, you have to again make them as correct words and rewrite them in the piece of paper there's a request for you please like subscribe and share my videos thank you love bye bye